Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that the Aero India show 2023 is going on and there are flood of news and updates coming. Therefore we have planned to have a consolidated video to keep you updated with all important updates. To start with we'll talk about HLFT42 which even created a storm just with the release of its model and the reason we all know. We are not going to talk about HLFT42 in detail as we have already made a video for it. Today we are going to compare HLFT42 with LCA Tejas. The HLFT42 is not only a lead in trainer for upcoming fighter jets of India but it can be a very potent fighter aircraft. If we compare it with LCA Tejas, the HLFT42 has impressive 11 hard points while LCA Tejas has only 8. However, LC Tejas has more payload capacity. It can carry 5,300 kilograms of payload, while HLFT 42 can carry 4,500 kilograms of payload. At the same time, HLFT has higher internal fuel capacity, while LC Tejas can carry 2,458 kilograms of internal fuel. HLFT 42 can carry 3,500 kilograms of internal fuel. Now most importantly, the aircraft features IRST which is not present in LCA Tejas Mark 1 version. However, HLFT is a bigger aircraft in size and it is all metallic aircraft because of which its radar cross section will be significantly higher when compared to LCA Tejas. Next we are going to talk about the LCA Mark II. Two. Now there have been several timelines and updates reported by ADA and HL which is kind of confused on its actual development timeline and we were awaiting eagerly for Aero India to get the precise date on it. As per recent update from DRDO's chairman Dr. Samir P. Kamath, LCA Mark II will be ready for production by 2028. Now recently, even Chief of Air Staff ACM VR Chaudhary has said that as per contract, LC Mark II should enter into production 2-3 to three years after the rollout of prototype. In an interview to ANI, recently the HAL CMD CB Anand Krishna has also said that DRDO and HL together will be able to roll out the first LC Mark II somewhere in the year 2024-2025 and the first flight of the fighter jet can be expected around 2026-27. The next big update is regarding AMCA. AMCA which is going to be the next important fighter jet of Indian Air Force because it's not only a stealth fifth generation fighter aircraft but also a twin engine fighter jet to be developed indigenously after HL Marut. For AMCA, once the prototype rolls out, the production should be able to start in 2-3 to three years after that. As per TRDO chief, AMCA phase 1 will be powered by GF414 engines and should start flying in about 10 years. The first flight will happen in about 7 years, but induction may take 10 years. Now if you talk about the present status, the CDR of AMCA has been completed by DRDO and Indian Air Force has given its PSQRs to DRDO. The funding approvals are still awaited from Cabinet Committee on Security for prototype development and post the approval of fund, we could see some significant development happening. Now, Considering the timeline reported by DRDO Chief, AMCA will take its first flight close to year 2030 and induction will be between 2033-35. Earlier. The Chief of Air Staff has also said that AMCA will be inducted in the middle of next decade. DRDO Chief has also said that AMCA Phase 2 will be powered by a larger size engine. However, he refused to comment on its timeline as its development is dependent on the co-development of engine planned with foreign OEM and unless DRDO signs an engine deal for code development with foreign OEM, he will not be able to comment on the timeline. Now, DRDO has been in discussion with Safran from France, G from US, and Rolls Royce from UK for the code development of engine for AMCA Phase 2 with a larger engine size. Now, if we have to summarize all these updates, the LCA Mark II will enter into production by 2028. 
Amka Mark 1 will take its first flight near 2030 and induction between 2033-35. For Amka Mark 2, we will have to wait for the deal signed with foreign OEM for development of new and more powerful engine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.